Will says, I just got here. Can you summarize what happened with Froggy? Okay. Froggy Fresh gets contacted by Ian. Will you fight in Creator Clash 2, my second boxing event? Froggy Fresh goes, sure, that's a cool opportunity. I'd love to. He starts training. That's nine months ago, okay? He's training, he's training, he's training, getting in the best shape of his life, ripped, okay? I've seen him, I've seen him in person. He's in killer shape, works super hard for this. Slowly, uh, he realizes he has no line to communicate with the team. They're not returning his calls. They're not talking to him. He starts to feel a little disillusioned. Like, why am I doing this boxing fight? I'm just, like, getting beat up and tortured a little bit for someone who doesn't really care about me. Yada, yada. He wants to learn more. He's like, all right, I'm already this deep in. Everyone who did Creator Clash knows who Sam is. Froggy was a fan. He asked Sam on stream, actually, the first time he communicated with us was on stream. He's like, hey, can I come up and train? Sam on stream says yes. Uh, some of you some of you saw that happen. Live. So he comes up here. He trained out of nine months of training. Will, answering your question here, to, to summarize what happened. Out of nine months of training, five days training with Sam was enough to get them to start looking for a reason to uh to ice him. It was obvious. Uh, because he, Ian called Froggy Fresh when he learned that he was coming down to train with Sam immediately, ignoring his calls for months, not communicating with him as a fighter. That's the thing they say. And this is so good. She always calls her fighters just to check up on them, just to check up on them. She, she just calls them for fun because she's good. That's not what happens, man. They they kind of ignored him. The only call he got was when iDubs learned. I'll do my iDubs voice. So, Froggy, um, are you going to train with Sam? Or is it true that you're going to train with Sam? That's the first call he gets. So, yeah, and then he, you know, Froggy made a joke. He didn't even start being mean right away. It was Anissa's stepmom starts shit with him on Twitter out of nowhere. Anissa's stepmom. Anissa's stepmom starts beefing with Froggy Fresh on Twitter. Sounds like parody, I know, but it's real. He fires back at the stepmom. Boom, boom, boom. It's just completely out of control. The next day, he's banned from the event. That's what happened. Talking about it. I just want to know if you... Let's listen to what they were saying about it together, okay? I'm going to take a leak. I mean, I'll be on stage, we have the, the myth, the legend, the one, the only, Sam Hyde. Thoughts? <laughs> the legend, the one, the only, Sam Hyde. Thoughts. How y'all doing? What up, cool. going on? We're pretty upset there, Sam. We want to see Froggy Fresh compete. We know you trained him. Um, what are your thoughts? Like, why did they kick him off the car? I mean, Keem, you know, you know the way my mind works. I'm always looking to turn this back around on myself here, looking to make myself <laughs> take center stage. I feel. <laughs> That uh, in this, I feel they were looking for an excuse to kick him the minute that he's he came down to hang out with me. That's what I feel. Wow, that's it. I Man, that's that's what it was, man. It was too dangerous to. Uh, it was too controversial to hang out with us. I mean, first time around, like the Harley situation. I guess you could get away with that. Harley could get away with it. But in the year since, I guess it got too hairy. The beef was way too apparent. Um, and it was, that's all it was, man. They just hated that he was with us, with Sam. Shots fired. Well, that was my theory. Yeah, right? bro. That's. Oh. And I know that, listen, I know that's excessive, that. but uh, it's just game theory. You know, I'm a member of Mensa. I know how people think. This is, this is how it is. Okay, this is how these people operate. They're bugs. They're 
well, I don't want to, I shouldn't get too, uh, I shouldn't get too into it right off the bat, but I know how Anissa thinks. You I know, know what the critter's going buzzing around inside her head. Sam, when you, when you weren't here, Corby made a great point. He said, look, going to train with Sam Hyde has some real benefits of you winning your fight. Sam Hyde, Hyde knocked out his opponent. Brandon Buckingham, who you trained, knocked out his opponent. Harley, who you trained, knocked out his opponent. Why should Froggy Fresh be punished for getting expert boxing advice? Facts. Facts, Keemstar. Yo, Sam, I'm not going to lie. This is Gideon. <laughs> Listen to Gideon here. I'm a big fan. I got put on during the summer. I just wanted to say hello. Put on by Brandon. Brandon put him on. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. Um, I uh, I also thought that, like, this is Harley. if I were to have gone down to Rhode Island again, I would have, and nothing was ever said to me, but I definitely would have been like, I'm, I'm going to conduct myself in a way. I think it's a sticky situation, obviously, uh, to everyone. And, like, I would have just been like that. I would have just been, like, conducted myself. Like, I feel like uh, maybe, um, maybe that was the case. I don't know. But there is, like, there's drama between you guys. And I feel like uh, maybe, you know, Froggy shook it up a little bit too much. And once again, I also don't. Uh, Froggy Fresh says, bruh, I said I would subscribe to her OnlyFans if I didn't beat Chris. That's what they're mad about. It's a win-win for everyone. More money for Anissa and more money for charity. <laughs> uh. Dude. I, I think that... I... I think that um, if Sam didn't exist, maybe they would be more open to the OnlyFans jokes. But the OnlyFans jokes is like, since Sam said them, it's like, if you're saying an OnlyFans joke, then you're like Sam. And we hate Sam. Like what you said, Froggy Fresh. Like I, I saw, I looked at everything that was said. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like mean. It wasn't cruel. I don't know, man. It's a joke. It's it wasn't that serious. There's just egos tied to it, and I not not to like kind of be narcissistic about our impact on this, but I I really think that realistically, um, they're very delicate about not letting uh the Sam Camp take a W or neutering Sam's influence on their event because. Dude, if I was throwing a boxing match and Sam, <laughs> and not even Sam, but some other guy who I didn't want involved uh, suddenly was like the centerpiece in the face of my entire event, it would probably hurt my ego. And that's what happened with the last one. So anything that's reminiscent of Sam, anything that's the smells of MDE, they don't want involved. So when you tell a OnlyFans joke, even though on its own, man, that joke is not like cruel or offensive and nothing worth kicking you off the roster three weeks before you fight. Like, come on. On its own, without the context of Sam, that's fine. But I, I, I see you. They're so delicate. They're so uh, tiptoey about... Um, they think it's like a Sam joke. When it's not, it's your joke. I don't know, man. <laughs>